Hey, what's going on guys? Kyle over at Elite Edge Gym here, and today I'm going to talk to you about another one of our staples for our upper body exercises involving our TRX. This is going to be a TRX bicep curl. It's a great isolation movement for the biceps, and I'm going to walk you through how to perform this exercise and how to coach your clients on it. Now, when you're doing a TRX bicep curl, your foot distance, how far forward or backwards you've set your feet, is really going to determine the difficulty of the exercise, okay? But you wanna start with lower handles to start off with. So I'm gonna set my feet forward a little bit and I'm gonna start by lowering myself all the way down. Now, first and biggest coaching cue for you is gonna be what we do with our elbows as we perform this curl. You're gonna see a lot of people turn it almost into a supinated row to start off with. And that's not really what we're looking to do. Instead, I'm gonna take my elbows and I'm gonna point them up towards that far ceiling keeping them as high as possible as I curl these 2RX handle straps right by my head. So from here, I'm gonna curl up like this, focus on my biceps, and then extend straight back like that, loading my biceps as I come back down. Squeezing at the top, getting a good stretch at the bottom. If you have somebody that's really struggling with that movement, instead of starting their feet here, have them walk their feet back a little bit, make it a little bit easier for them to start off with, and then have them take one step forward, performing another couple repetitions before they start to pick it up with a little bit harder difficulty, okay? If you have somebody that really struggles with it, if you need to, substitute with something like a dumbbell bicep curl instead. That way, they can get a good isolation exercise and they can build up towards doing something a little bit more advanced. Anyway, try using those coaching cues the next time we do TRX bicep curls in one of our workouts.